There are various ways to articulate the notes you find in a musical piece as well. It's very important to understand and know each articulation because through them, the composer's thoughts are expressed. So articulations are basically a means of expression. So I'm just going to, I listed out uh, the articulations that you should be familiar with and uh, what they look like on the staff. So the first term is, is a tie. Well, a tie joins two notes of the same pitch. See how they all, they're on the same line, right? This joins those two notes. So, same pitch. A slur, it's similar to a tie, but it joins two or more, more notes of different pitch. So it joins two or more notes of different pitch. So you can see how these guys are not on the same line, right? Now legato, this basically tells the uh, musicians to to play the notes smoothly. Um, so there's there's no pause between notes. It it joins very smoothly. Okay, so notes. Oh, one second. Yeah. So um, notes are played smoothly. Now usually a slur uh, joins the notes because uh, or so that there's no pause between the notes. Uh, now staccato, they're they're basically like, you know, short, detached, choppy um, methods of playing a note. Um, it's indicated by a dot over the note so that it is shortened and thus detached from the previous notes by being held for less than its full value. So essentially, these are short, detached. Notes. Now, an accent. Let me scroll down here. An accent. You 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 might have heard of this one. Um, it it basically it's it's this sort of uh, um, emphasis for the note, right? Um, and it's placed above each note, as you can see, and it basically it holds the notes for its full value. So gives notes emphasis okay now a marcado is basically a strong accent but it's short so it's kind of a mix of these two guys um uh so each note is emphasized but they're sort of shortened so so strong accent, but it is short. And the last one I want to uh, talk to you guys about is uh, tenuto. Now, uh, it's basically sort of a just a, a bar above each note, and this tells the musician that the note is sustained with a light accent up to its full value. So it's kind of in between these guys. So um, sustained note with a light accent. And generally, you're going to have to uh, memorize it. It's not too difficult to memorize, but um, you get the hang of it.